Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel. Today I have something extremely dangerous to show you guys. In my mind, this thing should actually be banned or at least regulated. But nevertheless, I always wanted this since I've seen some crazy advert on Facebook. They make it look so easy to use and the end product is so interesting. This one I bought it from Amazon for £250 and it's called a laser packer. And this is the little device that come with a lot of health warning before you're allowed to use it. Now, Laser Packer is the brand. Basically, it's a laser which shoots out from this little device, which allow to use the concentrated beam of laser to burn stuff. Some of you might ask, okay, what is laser? Well, laser is a special light. And the unique feature of it is you can focus it and energize a very, very fine point. We actually use this as a scalpel or as a device to mark stuff. So for example, my wooden bench here, we have some burn mark, and this is from a, a soldering iron, for example. Instead of using the metal tip, we use the light emitted from this little device. And it's quite amazing because they pack a lot of energy into this little device. Hence the dangerous side of this. So I can't illustrate how important it is. Do not use it in your normal open office. Do not leave it unattended. Unlike my 3D printer, which you can leave it overnight, which is not ideal, but they are basically melted plastic at 200 degrees centigrade. That is a fire hazard. Imagine this thing can produce a laser point so hot that can go into like hundreds and thousands of degrees. So um, it will create a lot of smoke and stuff like that, which I'm going to do a demonstration as usual for you guys to see what your money can buy. More importantly, is it easy to use? Can the average user who have never touched laser um, cutting before use this device to create good results? This is what I'm trying to show you guys. If you find my video information useful, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. Thank you very much and let's get on with the unboxing. So for £250, this is from Amazon, a laser packer. Um, my first impression for the packaging is really, really spot on. So inside the paper sleeve, you got a hard box. This is the UK version. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so inside the box, you got a leaflet which advertised the case. Now this one is asking for feedback. So if you give them some feedback on the product, I think they give you a free case. So you got a information leaflet, basically tell you that it needs to be at a certain height. I'm going to show you guys how it's going to work. A <laughs> wooden, a wooden ruler. A couple of pieces of uh, paper. I think this is for you to test the machine with. Now inside the box, you have um, very well designed packaging so it does have that premium feel to it rather than some cheap chinese laser engraving stuff so you got your instruction menu a pull out menu i mean there's only one button and a power supply like a usb led so lead so i don't think it's going to be that complicated but i will read through the information before i start because I do know a bit, or I do know a thing about, I do know a thing or two about laser. What's wrong with me today? Anyway, so um, let's go with this one first. So this is the main machine and um, it's really light. It's made of aluminum uh, alloy, I think. There's something about this laser packer brand, which I really like because I think um, the technology is quite simple, but they managed to make it into like a um, art item. I don't know what they go for. I think they're going for the higher end of the market because uh, look at this. You got like a kind of a rose gold um, brush aluminum kind of a look. And you can tell they, they did put a lot of uh, effort into the design part of it because it looked really, really sleek. And then you got the kind of a polish kind of an edge to the top part here. It looks really good. And the laser is behind this mirror here and uh, it comes with a lot of warnings. So um, we have to, we have a look at that in a minute. What else is, what else do you get in your box? So um, this one has a battery, kind of a power logo onto it. So you've got your um, 
USB cable, and you got a three pin power adapter. So obviously this is the UK version. In a um, EU version, you might get a two pin, or in US, you might get a different um, flat two pin adapter. Okay, you've got a tripod just like they show in um, the packaging. And this is a really simple tripod. Basically, you just pulled out links, so not even one of those with catch. I think if, if one thing they want to be premium about, I think this is probably not so premium feel to it. Because um, I'm sure it is very portable, but it doesn't look really stable to me. I mean, this is not really heavy, but I would like to see maybe a better grip on there. Maybe they're more designed for, but then people would use it on the desk, right? So this is a bit too loose for my liking. I might have to put some like silicon. All right, so yeah, this is, this is really important. Um, I wish I have a way to test out how safely this pair of glasses is, but I don't, so I might have to just trust it, but I will trust it enough to like stare in right into the laser like this. This is just being stupid. If you are going to look at the point of source where it's going to be reflected on the material, eye protection is a must. Um, laser, they are not a joke. So um, a lot of people get into trouble because they point the laser at vehicles or, or, or planes and stuff like that. It can blind you, so this is this is serious. And um, I don't want my viewer to buy this product and uh, have result of harming yourself. So please be careful. But overall, I do I do really like this product, and I do think that you know 250 pounds is a lot of money for a toy, but this is not a toy. This is a tool, and actually, this is almost like an art collection item. I never seen any tools have this good quality finishing. So this thing needs power, and I'm not going to use the power adapter, I never do. And um, I use my power bank because it's more portable. So there is a thread underneath the machine to screw onto your tripod. And try not to touch the mirror where the laser come out, because um, after all this is optics, and you don't want your greasy finger to affect the laser coming out from the machine. I think that's about it, so you got your laser machine mounted on top of this mini tripod okay so now this thing have power i will attempt to make it a bit neat so the qr code is on the side of the packaging sleeve now i'm not going to spend time on the software side of it because you just follow the instructions on the app and basically you need to um, register um, an account with them i think and then you just link it with the machine through Bluetooth. Once you start the application, it will ask you to turn on Bluetooth. And then all you need to do is pair with it once. And then every time you switch on the phone and use it, it will automatically be detected. And the name of the product usually is laser packer and then like a serial kind of a random number. So this is now connecting. So once you successfully connect it to it, it will beep to tell you that it is now live. When you start the program, you will actually be in the newbie guide where they will walk you through all the different um, function. They come with a lot of templates that you can test with. The wooden ruler that they gave us is 200. So um, let's lower this a bit to make sure that we are in line with the instruction. Okay, so when you start preview, what happened is um, the should wear this now. So the laser will actually now place a kind of a draw, a little rectangle onto the surface of where you're trying to print. And um, when you're ready, go quit preview. So now they're sending the information to the machine. And the default material now at the moment is wood. I just follow the program at the moment because this is what they want you to test it with. 100% power, confirm, depth, 70% uh, I'm just going with the default setting. Okay, so now it's actually starting to burn the paper. 
So the laser will be moving precisely where the logo is. At this point, if this thing moves, then your logo will be uh, all over the place. And I strongly recommend doing this under <laughs> full attention and uh, supervision. And have a fan, you know, ready to, uh, you know, make sure your, your work area is well ventilated. And uh, actually thinking about it, I should have taped it down onto the table so it doesn't slide around. A bit of smoke coming out. All right, so it's all done. So there is the Woodpecker logo. I think this is the company logo. So here I got my first uh, laser etched logo on a piece of paper. And um, really, I mean, yes, I paid uh, £250 to buy this and um, I kind of mount it onto the tripod, give it power from the power bank, paired it with my phone through the app. I just follow the instructions on the app, which is really, really straightforward. So I am pretty amazed with the technology right now. Um, when I look at the Facebook ad where I first got this idea from, the laser engraver is more like a 3D printer. You just move the laser head around and that will create a lot of like movements and uh, kind of um, not as sharp. But now they manage to use the optics inside to move the laser instead of moving the whole head. So the logo itself is really, really sharp. I didn't manage to start a fire, but I think it could easily, easily start a fire. And uh, at 70, percent power based on wood it didn't burn through the paper um, all it does is it created a a burn mark on top of the paper itself now when you rub it rub on it the the carbon will come off so if this is your finished surface then um, i would use some lacquer or some kind of a uh, varnish on it to make sure that it stay but you see that so that's the woodpecker logo i think from the company but yeah so this is my first print. Oh, sorry about the shakiness, but let's do this then. So I took a picture of myself. Oh, there's a lot of black. I see. So um, obviously it's going to be black and white. And um, you can't take a picture with dark background because like you lose, I'm not going to burn the whole paper to make this photo. So no pencil. Oh, that looks interesting. Let's try that. Okay, so now it's transferring my photo onto the machine. It's going to take some time because um, I think it's higher resolution. Okay, 98%. So this is nearly done. And I think it looks really cool on a time lapse when I speed it up. Um, what is it cutting? Okay, now this is done. So this is. It looks like you're cutting your phone from here. No, I'm not cutting my phone. It wouldn't cut his phone. Okay, so just show better. you guys a close up. So this is a selfie of myself. Wait, that's a laser printer? There we go. Look how oh, cool, cool is that? This is the actual print. And this is the image. Obviously, it is not in color, but um, yeah. So I think that is pretty cool um, to be able to burn your own image straight from your phone to a piece of paper. But how about a bigger picture? Because this is still very small. So now it's marking out the area and I'm, I'm happy with it to be roughly in the middle of the paper. Okay, so I didn't expect it to be taken that long. I mean, it did come up with a warning message to say that high resolution photo will take a long time. But this thing took about an hour to uh, etch. This is the maximum size that it can go away from the picture. Obviously, if you go away from the picture even more, then it will be even bigger. 
but I think it will lose power as it goes. But there's plenty of power to go in terms of etching the uh, piece of paper. All right, so there we go. Let's work on the uh, timber as it should. Yeah, so far, nothing because it's white paper. So on a complete white paper, it will not work. Okay, this is full power, 100% and 100% depth. I wonder if it will cut through the paper. It's the same kind of a snowflake logo, but this is 100% and 100% depth. So here we go. A clear burn through snowflake, exactly what I needed. So uh, when I do my 3D printing stuff, for example, if I printed a plastic part, now I can do a kind of airbrush with a clean cut logo. So you actually melted some of the plastic on the surface and leave a logo behind. This is going to be fantastic for my um, 3D plastic work. So this will be the end of my video. I hope I showed you enough of the laser packer machine that I bought from Amazon. Um, you can take photos and turn it into an artwork. Uh, it takes a long time, like an hour to print this, but the effect is quite good. Um, what I find it the more useful is that I can now make cutouts from the cards like this. So I can design my own logo and have a cut out and this will be my template for spray painting my 3D models. I'm still experimenting with different medium in terms of what it can burn and what it can etch. Now this is a 3D printing part in light color. It managed to etch just the surface and this is the effect that I actually wanted. And I'm going to experiment a bit with a spray painted surface and it will actually etch away the paint and leave the surface behind intact. The biggest size that it can print is a 10 centimeters wide print. So this is actually the biggest that it can print. The machine itself, like I say, is very elegant in terms of design. You can power it by the power bank. So my whole video is run on a power bank is now on I think 30 percent and it has been running on hours in terms of uh, during testing of this little device. I'm not sure if you can make it any bigger the print because I'm, I'm sure there's enough power to um, move the head away from the paper but what is recommended is about 20 centimeters is where the distance from the surface of where the laser is going to burn. I can't illustrate enough how important safety is to when you're using this machine. This is not a toy, this is actually a, a very sharp tool if you want to put it that way. And make sure you protect your eyes as well. It does come with a pair of eye um, shade, but even so, I don't believe this will give you 100% protection against a laser. So make sure that you have some kind of enclosure and even better if you're not looking directly at the laser itself. So that's all I have time for you today and uh, thank you very much for watching my video and don't forget if you like my content, share, like and subscribe to my channel and help me grow and I will see you next time with more interesting product. Bye bye.